Hello, this is V. Today, I'm going to do the commentary. I'm going to be showing the power of V that make V so powerful that some players, they just can't take the heat and they have to quit the game. So what I want you to do is get the game started and pause after 15 seconds. I give you some time to do that. This game gonna be between B and A L dot M S I dot Gento. He also gonna be playing the undead. But as you will see in this game, if you don't make the goose and the goose don't chop the wood and the goose don't go scout, you're not gonna win the game. Okay. You should have the, the game paused at the 15 second mark. So we're going to unpause the game in 1, 2, 3. Go. Okay. I start with my regular undead crypt build. I build the crypt and I build the ziggurat. Then I make the acolytes to mine the gold. And the ghoul, of course, he chopped the wood. So the ghoul, he be chopping the wood. I make the altar of darkness. It's critical that you make the crypt close to the trees. So that way the ghouls chop the wood faster. Okay, we're going to look at Gento's base. Gento has a graveyard and a crypt. And now he make his altar of darkness. Now to be, if you make the crypt and the graveyard, then you're going for the crypt fiends and not for the ghouls. In my opinion, if you don't go to ghouls and you go to crypt fiends, that's not going to win you the game. It's critical. It's critical that you make the ghouls. Because the ghouls can scout and they can chop the wood. And the ghouls can fight. So he does have two ghouls chopping the wood in his base. And he's making a third goo. But as you're going to see in this game, that's not going to be enough ghouls. You gotta go mass ghouls if you want to beat the undead player. Especially if it's B. Because everyone know that B is the undead player master. Okay, so for my first hero, I get the Death Knight. And Gento, he also get the Death Knight. But he make his Death Knight a lot slower than B. But he is just a mere mortal, so you have to excuse him. He not make the goose as fast as me, and he not make the Death Knight as fast as me. So now my Death Knight is out. I got five goos and my death knight. I'm gonna sell my teleport scroll at the shop and buy a rod of necromancy. What I like to do in this, this is my rod brush. It's kind of similar to the dual crit brush that I do the audio strategy guide for on that site. But in my opinion, it's critical. It's critical that in the Frozen Throne, you do the Rod of Necromancy Rush. Okay, so B, I'd be creeping out my natural expansion right now. And I use my Rod of Necromancy, I make some Skeleton Warriors. They kind of like Goose, except they got the shield and the sword. And that's pretty effective when you got a Goo, who already is the best unit in the game without the sword and the shield. And you give him a sword and a shield, then you got some really powerful goos. Okay. So now I'm going to fast expand at my natural expansion as soon as I get the gold and the wood. And I go to the temple area. I'm going to creep out the entrance creeps. Now let's look at Gento and see what he's doing. He got two creep fiends and a death knight. Oh, he got three creep fiends. But still, B, 
he has the goose and the super goose. Now, I, now B, he has four super goose. Up, uh, but two of them ran out. That's okay, cause B, now I'm gonna creep out the item shop. You see, B, I'm the type of player that like to creep a lot. I like to creep a lot when I play the game, especially in the ladder, where B is former number one. I bet most of you cannot say that you are former number one like B, but that's okay. It's just B. It's nothing to fear. Just like the Demon Hunter when you do the dual crypt rush. Just the Demon Hunter, nothing to fear. You get the Lich and... I'm sorry, B, he getting off topic. So now B, he got level 3 Death Knight. And I got my Book of the Dead. Which going to give me more Super Goose. Now Gento, he going to make an attack on my base. And uh, I'm not going to appreciate that very much. So I come back to my base. I do death coil on one of my ghouls because everyone knows the ghouls is very important to the undead army. You can't let them die and the micromanagement is very important. Very important that you do the micromanagement as you will see in this game. Anyway, Kento, he not go creep out his natural expansion because he wants to be just like B and he wants to get the fastest spam. Past expansion can win you the game. He also get the Tomb of Relics because he took a he took a peek at B's base and he saw that I made a Tomb of Relics, so he knows that B is the greatest undead player in the world. So he gonna make the Tomb of Relics too. Coincidence? B don't think so. Okay, now I'm gonna creep out the the trolls at the gold mine to the left. And two more ghouls come in to reinforce my army. Okay. I want to address something that many people say about B. People say that B does not have a personality. And that B is very boring when he does the commentary. That's not true. B has lots of personality. See, watch this. B going to entertain you now with song. I'm a little teapot, short and thought. This is my goo. Watch me shout when I. Okay, never mind. B. B, not much of 